Two words, just start. And I know they're very simple words, but they're kind of loaded. When you want to start and put yourself out there and put your art out there, it can feel really daunting and I get it. I know that you can put this off, but if you're here, I'm assuming you're here because you want to show up, you want to show your art more, or you want to be more present online in whatever way, shape or form that takes. So today what I want to do is to try and move us out of procrastination and fear and give you some really simple but effective tips in order to move you along on that journey. And I hope you like them. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Paula McGurdy and I'm a visual artist from Dublin in Ireland. And last week I shared a video and there's so many more of you here today. So thank you so much for following along. Come with me and I'll show you and share a few more tips on what I do. I'm going to walk you through some few simple but effective tips on how to grow your confidence and really show up online to start selling your art. Whether you're new to this or you've been hiding in your studio for years, I mean, I can relate, it's never too late to step out of your comfort zone. So the first tip I would say is start small and start simple. You don't have to dive in headfirst with all of the bells and whistles and think that everything needs to be perfect. Just start. Pick one platform that feels right for you, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or even a simple blog. The key is just starting. I know we can get bogged down with the what if I'm not ready? What if people judge my work? But here's a little secret. Everyone feels like that at first, and I have certainly felt that in any time, any platform now, <laughs> as I'm recording this, um, it's, it's very easy to say that and to think that. And the other thing is, is people will judge. And unfortunately, that's just part and parcel of it. But even the big name artists have had their deaths before they posted their first piece or showed their face on camera. Like it's just kind of goes with the territory really. So pick one small thing to start with and maybe you're not ready to go on camera and that's fine, but you want to post some of your work. We'll do that instead. You don't have to be in front of the camera. Maybe it's posting one artwork a week on Instagram or just sharing a 10 second video of your painting process of behind the scenes. You don't have to be in front of the camera. You don't have to go all in right away as well. Just get comfortable with showing up little by little. It's those small baby steps that'll start to increase that confidence. And really confidence comes from stretching ourselves. And there's always fear in that as well, but that's where the growth is. Growth comes when we get ourselves uncomfortable in certain situations that we want to step into. Um, so just be brave in that as well. My second tip would be to share your story. People connect with you. And I know it's something I've talked about before, um, but this is something that has made a huge difference for me. And I understand this. I know that people don't just connect with my art and it'll be the same for you. They will connect with you, with you as the person. It's your story, your journey, your struggles and your passion that make people want to follow your work and eventually buy your art. Maybe not for everybody, but a lot of the times that's actually what happens. So don't be afraid to get a little personal. You don't have to overshare, but share your why. Why did you become an artist? What inspires you? What challenges have you faced? You can start by writing a short caption under your artwork, explaining what it means to you or recording a quick video where you talk about the creative process behind it. People love that stuff. And guess what? It makes showing up online a little less scary when you realize it's not just about selling, it's about sharing, connecting and being authentic. And here's the thing is, there's really no right or wrong. You are the expert in your art. So show up and talk about it because whatever you say is right because it's so personal to you. My third tip will be progress over perfection. And this is a big one. This was really hard for me um, at first. Like many artists, I wanted everything to look perfect before I posted it, but perfectionism will keep you stuck in those shadows forever. When I first started, 
I would just actually show small snippets of my process because I actually was too afraid to show the finished piece. So there was a lot of me that was holding on to that fear and perfectionism really is rooted in fear. The truth is no one expects perfectionism. People love to see behind the scenes, the messy stuff, the messy video, the unfinished sketches, the mistakes. It's real and it's relatable. So let go of that need to be perfect and show up uh, doing just that, doing your best and sharing what you're working on at the moment. Think of it this way. Each post, each video, each story you share is progress. You're building your presence step by step and you're learning as you go. That is way more valuable than waiting for everything to be 100% polished and perfect. And if you're waiting for that, it will never happen because it just doesn't exist. Tip number four, use your age and experience as your strength. This is a tip for those of you who might be thinking, I'm too old to do this. Social media is for younger people. Well, that is not true at all. And I think that now is a brilliant time. I've spoken about this for people of our demographic to be really showing up, showing up in front of the camera, showing up, showing what they're making and creating. It is a fantastic age because there's been a huge gap um, up until recently um, in seeing people doing that. Your age and your life experience, that is an absolute asset and people are drawn to that authenticity and wisdom. Maybe you've been creating art for decades and have so much knowledge to share, or maybe you're starting later in life um, or you're picking it back up again. You can inspire others to follow their creative dreams no matter what their age. It's never too late to show up and share your art. In fact, your unique perspective might be just exactly what somebody out there is looking for. Whether you're 40, 50, 60, 70, embrace your story and use it to connect with others. My tip number five is engage with your community. This is another great way to build confidence and start selling your art online. This is the whole reason as to putting your art out there is you want that engagement. Social media isn't just about posting and leaving. It's about connecting. And I remember I heard somebody talking about posting on social media and then just leaving it there. They said it's like somebody walking into the room and then turning around, not greeting anybody else and turning around and, and leaving. And the whole idea is it's supposed to be social. So we need to really think about that. Engage with people who are wanting to connect with you online. Those comments, get back to comments, all of that. Um, comment on other artists posts, respond to people who comment on your work and start conversations with fellow creatives, genuine conversations. The more you engage, the more you'll realize that this isn't some cold, intimidating space. It's a community of people who love art just like you do. And guess what? The more you interact, the more your confidence will grow. You'll start to feel less like you're shouting into a void and more like you're part of a vibrant, supportive, community. And lastly, my sixth tip is you don't have to get in front of the camera yourself. If you look at some of my videos, I actually do a lot of voiceover just like I'm doing now. And being in front of the camera really stretches me. And often I feel like I prefer to show my process and speak over the video. And that's a brilliant way for you to really engage with your audience and them to feel like actually you're there and you are there, but you're not speaking to the camera, which can feel really, really intimidating. And I have been doing it for some time and I still feel that. So if you don't feel confident in putting your face directly in front of the camera and speaking to the camera, I would advise you to do the voiceover. It is an amazing way to connect, showcase your work, and really just take your time in explaining and not feeling that pressure, again, to be looking a certain way or um, having it all perfect. Try that out. Lastly, consistency is key, and this goes above and beyond anything. Don't worry about posting every single day. 
It's not about quantity. Start with what feels manageable for you. Maybe that's once or twice a week. The important thing is to show up regularly so people know you're there. But don't stress yourself out of being about being everywhere all at once. You don't need to be on all of the platforms, constantly posting, constantly commenting. It really is quality over quantity. You don't have to flood the internet with your work because sometimes that doesn't work as well. But when you do post, be really intentional about it and share from the heart. Over time, you'll start to build a loyal audience who is genuinely interested in your journey and your art. So to recap, showing up online to sell your art is really about starting where you're at, starting small, sharing your story and letting go of that perfectionism that may have been holding you back in the past, that fear that can just bind us up and really wind us, you know, really tight that we don't want to put it out there. But using your life experience as a strength and connecting with your community, it is so valuable and important and it's a beautiful thing. And remember, you're not too old or too unknown to put yourself out there. I really believe that the world needs to see more creatives putting their work out there. And I wholeheartedly believe that the world would be a better place if there was more creativity. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do, like and subscribe. And if there's something that's been holding you back, I'd love to know in the comments below. And in the meantime, Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye creatives and I'll see you next time.